In today's tutorial, I want to quickly show you how you can create an animated caustic effect with Octane. Here I have a scene with a pool where I want to apply a caustic effect. To see better, I'm going to delete my sunlight. First, we will need an area light. Go to Objects Lights Octane Area Light. I'm going to place it here so the light will be projected on the water. In the Distribution tab, we can feed a noise. So click here, go to Plugin, C4D Octane, Noise 4D. Sharper shadows can be achieved by scaling down the light, but doing so reduces brightness. In order to fix this, we may deactivate the surface brightness and check the Keep Instance Power here. Let's scale the light down. And as we do so, you'll notice that the shadows become more defined. Let's increase the power as well. And then of course, the reverse is true, where the larger we scale it up, the softer our shadows will get. Now let's work on the noise that is applied to our light. Click on this icon to have the node editor, it will be easier to work. I want to change this noise to a Voronoi one. Scale it down with a transform node. And finally change the projection to box. To add more details, we can add a mix node and blend the first noise with a second one. So here, drag the mix and duplicate the noise. Plug it to texture 2, and the first noise to texture 1. Create a float texture node, and plug it to the amount. We can keep the float at 0.5 so there is a perfect blend between the two noises. Now we can work on the second noise. I want to make it way smaller, so add a transform node again, and scale it down. Put a projection node and change it to box as well. I'm just going to boost the power and frame this better. Next I would like the light to affect only the water. To do so, I'm going to create an Octane tag. Group all the geometry you don't want to be affected by the light. Right-click, Extensions, C4D Octane Tags, Octane Object Tag. Go to the Object Layer tab. Here choose Enable and uncheck the number 2 box. Go back to our light and change the Light Pass ID to 2. Apply this tag to the grass model as well. Next, I want to change the gamma of the second noise. Simply add a color correction node and decrease the gamma to 0.5. Finally, let's animate this. To do so, we will use this time parameter here. Select both of the noise and click here to add a keyframe. Make sure you're at the first frame on your timeline. Go to the last frame and put a number here, depending on how fast you want your animation. I'm going with 3. Now you have your animated caustic effect. This tutorial is only intended to give you a method for achieving this effect. You can add many other details and even do it differently. You can also experiment by changing the type of noise and also modify it with the color correction. I hope you have learned something today and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video.